thalidomide was first marketed in 1957 in West Germany, where it was available over the counter. When first released, thalidomide was promoted for anxiety, trouble sleeping, tension, and morning sickness. In 1960, a reviewer for the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, she received an application from a pharmaceutical company for permission to sell thalidomide as a morning sickness prevention drug. The drug was already widely used in Europe due to its good efficacy, so the company thought it would be easily approved in the United States. However, as she reviewed the submitted documents, she found that animal testing as well as clinical studies were not conducted properly. In addition, knowing that some of the researchers who developed the drug had written a paper rejected by the American Medical Association, she refused to approve the drug. However, pharmaceutical company mobilized persistent lobbying and threats against her. But she didn't abandon her beliefs until the end. Since then, studies have shown that thalidomide causes birth of deformed babies. However, it was already after more than 10,000 deformed babies were born in Europe due to the drug's influence. Then she received award for distinguished federal civilian service from President John F. Kennedy as a representation of a public official who kept own firm belief. And since then, the US drug licensing system has been further strengthened. This story is about Francis Oldham Kelsey, a Canadian-American pharmacist and doctor. It may be common sense, but it is not easy to faithfully perform the role entrusted to them with own firm belief. But we should not forget that our society is maintained because there are these people 